This is officially Metal Shop Vlogs on the road. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have, uh, I have my friend uh, Nicole uh, from Toots uh, joining me. How's, how's it going? You doing good? I'm doing great. Thanks awesome. That's, that's good. I'm, I'm, I'm fantastic. Uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's dive right in. Um, what's, uh, what's the origin of, of like your... Um, how did you get started playing the guitar? I don't know what other instruments you played. I played a lot. Um, when I was little, like mm -hmm. middle school, I was the only one in my whole school that didn't make the tennis team. Oh. So I joined choir. <laughs> and sure. that was the start of it. Yeah, and I've been in, I've been, like, I guess brought up classically. So I've been in choirs and um, I picked up guitar, did the whole church band thing for a while. And yeah, the rest of the sister have been doing it since I came over here. Yeah. Well, uh, what, what, did your parents uh, kind of like influence you into like you know picking up instruments? Yeah, they or? wanted me to do something because I was like lonely, you know, like I was that weird kid that didn't get sports. And <laughs> what, <laughs> what, why, why do you why do you think you didn't get picked for the tennis team? Because I was terrible. Too. <laughs> <laughs> that that'll probably yeah. that'll probably do it. I'm not saying it wasn't fair. It just, it was <laughs> it just it, I'm not saying it yeah. didn't happen. It, I'm saying it did. That's the right choice. Um, <laughs> But, um, so like, uh, have you been like in bands or I mean, just like yeah. doing solo stuff? Or? Uh, just recently I started doing like more, I guess, like contemporary style. So I, I played a bass with Cole Bryant for uh, most of this year and I like, decided to branch out into my own thing because I've always wanted to. And uh, that went up. Went up now. And, and are you do like, do you, and you said how, how long were you playing bass with for Cole Bryant, right? Yeah. 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 How, how was that? Was that a fun experience? It was or? fun. I love playing bass. And uh, it was really cool. We, we did some really cool things together. I uh, had the privilege of playing at Neon Desert with her. It was, it was Very nice. Yeah. 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 I think so. <laughs> so uh, right, right now, um, you're doing, uh, uh, you're playing bass with Toots? Or how, how's that, uh, how's that going? <laughs> I, toots is a, like a, an experiment. Because when I play live, obviously it's just me and guitar. And to do anything else would be a whole other thing. Yeah. So when I record, um, I use Logic and I just add stuff and like you know do layers and vocals and stuff. So I'm trying to just play the music, you know. So you're just kind of like you uh, you Frankenstein it and then yeah. you just kind of it's cool. Um, and you play music, you're playing with a uh, guitar and you just sing. Yeah, a lot of it's just guitar and, and voice. Yeah. Like, um, <laughs> do you have any? Um, I guess. Any aspirations of like getting a full band, or do you just want? I know you said it was an experiment, but I mean, you know, will it eventually grow into a full you know, band? Or? That'd be really cool. I'm just afraid that I'd be a bad band member because I'm super busy right now. <laughs> like the logistics of all of that is like, you know, I don't want to start a band and then like practice like maybe once a month and be like all well, like yelling time. So I don't know. I'd like to, but maybe when I less busy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, well, uh, when it comes to, you know, we mentioned earlier, like, you know, um, kind of in an early age, because Nicole didn't make the tennis team. Um, <laughs> what, are, um, what are some of your, uh, like, I guess growing up, or like, how, how did you come about, to, uh, other than, like, you know, we already got into that, but, like, your musical influences, I mean, was, uh, um, yeah, like, how, how did that come about, like, you know, did I play Led Zeppelin all the time, yeah, or? <laughs> Even though they push it pretty hard, not that like thankfully, they, yeah, yeah. but they're not actually that into it. Um, musically, I feel like I didn't really find like a genre that I loved until maybe like high school. And even now, I have a hard time saying like, oh, I love this genre and like this specific artist in this album. But um, I can say right now, my biggest influence is probably Emmy Clark or of St. Vincent. I think she's like every female guitarist here, probably. She's incredible. Um, I also really into like Lucifer and Dirty Projectors. Um, I'm trying to think, but those are probably my favorites. Oh, um, Mel Barbas of Two Nerds, too. She's awesome. Yeah, a little you, bit. You, you, you need to like write all these down. I, know, so I can yeah. look them up later on because they can sound awesome. They're really cool. 
Yeah. Um, also, I, I, uh, I, I've seen you a few times uh, performing live, and uh, you do an excellent rendition of a Beatles song. Yeah. Which, 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 one, which one is that I one? I do a Dig a Pony. Yeah. I love that song. Yeah, I, I love the way you play. You know, I'm just trying to kiss your ass or anything. No, no, no. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of music. I don't just, you know, do this. Um, yeah, I, I love music, but, um, but yeah, I mean, how, how did the Beatles uh, play into your... The Beatles were like... When I discovered the Beatles, I was probably older than everyone else when I figured out who the Beatles were. But um, they like opened my eyes to like a whole new world of like just incredible music. Um, and I've always loved them. I don't know that I, I guess I do play Beatles cover. I don't know that I take a lot of influence from them. But uh, actually, I mentioned Annie Clark. She did a Dig a Pony cover a long time ago. And I can only hope to be as cool as Annie Clark. I, now, now I gotta hear it. Oh, man. Not by compare, not to compare what I'm talking about. Everyone needs to listen to Annie Clark. Um, how did you, when did you just start writing, uh, composing music? When did you start doing How? How's the process? Because I know it's different for each, each uh, singer-songwriter. So how does that go about for you? Well, it was kind of hard to find uh, a process for a while. Um, I've always tried to write music um, since, you know, when I was little, like a baby. But, well, not but you know. <laughs> you know what? I've seen some YouTube videos that are like, oh, check out this three-year-old uh, playing I wish singing. I was that kid. It's like, what? I know, I wish I was that kid, but no, it Check out this guy's playing, a <laughs> six-year-old playing Bach on the guitar. I wish. No. Yeah, I've, I've seen those YouTube videos. Go ahead. Yeah, I know, it's okay. I'm so jealous of those kids. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, just recently I've started writing um, my music. One of the songs I play, um, Apology Nothing, that I, it introduced a new process to me because I wrote it entirely on Logic. And I just got Logic like this year, so I was literally just, you know, fucking around with Logic. Yeah. And um, the song came out. So that's different. I'm st really still trying to find like a solid process, but every song is different. Um, some of them like catch me, and you know, um, it comes out easily, and others it's a real struggle to. What am I doing with this? You know, what is it going to do? So it's different for every song. Yeah, so sometimes I, I've heard, like, basically, um, we, uh, we talked to earlier to uh, previous musicians that, like, you know, they just kind of have an idea. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, oh, they just kind of, like, hit a wall. You know, like, you know what? Yeah. I'll put this on the shelf. And I'm very I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Pretty sure I'll need it some time. Yeah. And uh, later on, like, something happens. You need to distract yourself sometimes. And then sometimes you come back and then you come up with something. You're like, hey. Yeah. I remember this. Oh, this fits perfect. It fits, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, sometimes that happens. You know, sometimes I write something that I, like, hate that day, mm -hmm. and I record it just in case, and, like, months later I'll come back and be like, oh, that wasn't as bad as I remember it being. Yeah, I, 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 I guess, like it. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's a, <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a, it depends on how you're, yeah. how you're feeling that day. Yeah. Um, Right, right now, um, I know you've already played, you know, several of the games. You were starting out. Yeah. Um, but how? What's your average like set uh, length, like the uh, your sets? Because like you know, people yeah. who want to book you over here, you see them? Yeah. Or over there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> the people who want to book you, like you know, like, uh, they want to know how long you can go for. I do about a twenty-five minute set. Um, pretty standard, I think. Yeah. I mean, that's actually kind of a struggle for me because I tend to write really short songs. Um, yeah, like every, every song's like two minutes and like, yeah, I have to like, like, have to sing like 30 songs. Yeah, so it's like, how am I supposed to play that? I mean, I'm okay with my attention spans really short, which is why my songs are all short. Um, but yeah, it's kind of hard when I'm like, well, I have to write like 10,000 songs to fill up like a 20 minute set. But yeah, I've gotten a little bit better at that. So yeah, I'm running about 25 minutes. And then, and then sometimes you could just kind of like add a chorus to like, I, on the spot, I've done it. You know, on the spot? Like, oh, yeah. Not, not add a chorus, but it'd be like, repeat a chorus that's already oh, established. Oh, I'm not like, oh, you're writing in your head. Like, yeah, no, 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 I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not anywhere near that. But, um, that, you know, sometimes, you know, you just kind of have to have the same chorus. Yeah, chorus. that's happened to me, or I, I repeat a chorus on, on accident or a verse on accident. And then the song is seven minutes long. Yeah, well, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're not Pink Floyd. I don't think I'll ever write seven minutes yeah. so. Well, um, I shouldn't say that. Hey, you know I, what? Sometimes, I, I yeah, the yeah, logic song, and if you, you fuck around with that, and you, 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 you get stuck in that, like, in the tricks. Yeah, I've, I've spent eight hours on logic thinking it had been maybe 20 minutes. And you get stuck in Oh, man, I have to do things. You're just like, oh, man. Yeah, I, I really didn't know. I had a 
to I have to deliver a baby. Like, <laughs> that was like three. It's like eight now. It's it's probably still in there. That's never happened to anything. <laughs> um, what the, what what um, venues have you already played, and what venues would you like to play? Um, yeah, well, I've played Boomtown a few times, where we are right now. Boing Queen. Super fun, I love Boomtown. So, um, I've also played, my first show was at Bowie Feathers, which is awesome. Oh, that was your first show? Yeah. That was your first, first pre-show, that's why I met you. Yeah. I played that same show, but it was, it was, for the first show, I, 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 I think it was your first show. Yeah, I, was, I felt really lucky to have that opportunity. So yeah, first show Bowie Feathers, that was awesome, and I played a, an acoustic series at Little Girl on the patio. Um, as far as tunes. And um, I, in terms of venues that I'd like to play, like, I'm so thankful for, like, any venue that wants to have me. I think that's really cool. So anyone out there, like, I'm down. Anybody's living room? Yeah. Like, I just like to play, you know? Play music's fun. You, 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 start, you start playing, like, you just, like, crash people's houses and be like, I'm going to play guitar while you have dinner. Hope you don't mind. Yeah, I'm just going to play this Beatles song like for 20 minutes and then just leave. Yeah. No questions asked, just eat. Eat, enjoy my music. <laughs> 20 minutes and two. Right, this is called Fragile Vein. Uh, it was a, it was a flanger, flanger, oh, yeah. 
and it's like just like they're really thick. And like those are really cool because like they sound like very they vintage. They sound crazy, yeah. And like you know, it's, they're it's, cool. It's I picked it up like used uh, twenty bucks guitar singers. So. Oh yeah, that's like my favorite. Yeah, that happens. It sounds really cool. I picked up a little app for twenty bucks and like I it's, yeah, it's like loud. Wow, it's like really loud too. Wow. It's like a little tiny. Anyway, it's cool. not about me. Um, <laughs> But uh, what other what other type of uh, stuff you have? Um, uh, I know you said you were yeah. playing bass for whole Brian. But that bass is like my news baby. Um, it's a Stingray, an uh, Ernie Ball Stingray five string white gold hardware. That's all I have. You need to bow to it. Yeah. Honestly, I, I don't feel like I'm good enough for that bass, but I love it and it's mine, so whatever. <laughs> and I, I use for guitar and bass, I use a, a bass amp. Why well, is there like a? I mean, other than like you used to play bass, um, yeah. is there like a reason? Like you know, you no like a good reason. I just haven't. <laughs> I just spent all my money on like guitars versus like all the shit I need to play them. Well, I just, <laughs> I just haven't had time to buy a guitar. Yeah, Amp, man. Why do so, I don't have a bass amp? It's cool. Same shit. Yeah, same shit. <laughs> um, all right. Well, then you know what? Uh, we've already. I think we've already covered all the bases. So like, I think we've already reached the point. In the interview, we we'll have to go rapid fire questions. Yeah. Um, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah, that was, that was crazy. That was, it was, it was crazy. Uh, all right, top three bands of all time. Go. St. Vincent, Dirty Projectors, Animal Collective. Cool. All right. Mulder's Spooky Paranormal Theories or Scully's Scientific Methods? Scully. Scully? Come on. Scully girl. <laughs> um, Alright, if you were a hot dog, would you eat yourself? I don't need any. Oh. Are you trying to ask me? Well, that's not that good. Honestly, you're not missing, you're not missing much. <laughs> Alright, good. Um, Magnum or regular? Well, it depends, yeah. Why? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you think that I mean? Are you talking about the ice cream? Ice cream. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Like Magnum, because like Magnum's delicious, but, like just a regular ice cream. Yeah, again, it depends. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> you, you let me know, like which which one is it? Regular. I'm talking about ice cream. Regular. All right. So. All right. Final question. Um, do you like to uh, give or receive? Um. I'm sorry, I'm not very graphic. I like Christmas receive. presents. Yeah. Um. I like both. Yeah. Sweet. That's good. <laughs> Alright, with uh, your musical journey, like, you know, you've already gone through, like, in this uh, short, some short period of time, um, who do you, like, uh, I'm sure, like, people, like, stick out, you know, like, helped you out before, and, like, yeah, you know, people absolutely. that have, you know, like, gave you, you know, gives some of balls. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, like, who do you want to thank? Like, who, who, I mean, tell, you know, shout out, thank yous. Firstly, uh, my parents, because they have given me everything that I need for music. Um, thankfully, I, they gave me my music education. Um, my first was Paul, thanks to them. Um, uh, they gave birth my, to you. They gave birth to That's, me. you know, that helped, I'm sure. I would hope so. <laughs> um, secondly, uh, Hope Wright of Hope Wright, because, yeah, she she opened the door to the El Paso scene with me, I think, so thanks, Hope. Um, and lastly, my extremely supportive and loving boyfriend, Sean Salfino, who's also a photographer, and he's wonderful, and he takes a lot of my photos for me, so, yeah, thanks. You know what, uh, you, you forgot two, two very important people for me. One person? No, well, other than, other than me. No, <laughs> no but it's true. What? Oh. You give me a couple shows of first. Oh, thing. thank you. Yeah, yeah anyone that, that books me, thank you. Um, yeah, I, 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 think, I can book you whenever you want. So, thanks, yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, um, yeah, but, I mean, of course. Papa Joe, Mama G. Thank you guys. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. Well, um, speaking of uh, your uh, shows and stuff, uh, I don't want to. I didn't want to, like, you know, kind of uh, do my own horn. Like, what's what, what's your next show? Like, when do you yeah. want to? When do you? My next show as of right now is here in town, a backyard session hosted by Chris Chili. It's called Daughter. <laughs> Thank you. 
you, I have, I post videos and stuff to my Instagram, but it's also just my personal Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's the real Nicole Velarde. The real? I don't know how real well, I, I'm pretty certain, because the other ones haven't posted in like 100 years. I'm pretty mad that they have. Good, so you, you, look, yeah. you, look, you, look, you looked into this. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, well, um, thank you so much for uh, being a guest on uh, the Metal Shop Vlogs on the road. Um, and uh, we hope to see you, uh, a lot more of you, uh, especially your boomtown, whoever wants to book her. She's amazing. Thank you. And uh, thank you so much. Um, and we'll see you guys on another edition of the Metal Shop Vlogs on the road.